Hi, water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Welcome to my main channel, Chelsea Love Tarot. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I really appreciate all of your love and support. In this reading, we are going to find out what's the person on your mind's next action towards you. And today is the 24th of September, 2023. Time here in Hoi An, Vietnam it is 7.44 a.m. Please bear my net. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. And if this video finds you, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same sign. Let's get a reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. The person on your mind right now, what is the next action towards them? Now think about the person you like to know. What's the, ne what's the next action towards you, okay? Also, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and this person. Seven of Swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so the Wheel of Fortune was the first card that came out. There is a change. Hmm. The person on your mind right now, okay, now the person on your mind can be anybody, yeah, it could be a friend, family member, um, a romantic connection, a romantic partner, it can be anybody, co worker, people that you work with. Now, the Wheel of Fortune is a change. I see them with the Page of Swords here in reverse. Just spying on you, just stalking you, basically. It, um, stalking you online because the Wheel of Fortune is right here. It doesn't matter if you are, you have social media or not. However, they spy on you. It could be driving by your house or asking people about you or going online again. It could be by any kinds of, any sorts of means, okay? So... I feel like water signs, the person in your mind right now really wants to express to you how they feel. But the judgment here is in reverse. So it just makes me feel like they they think that it's wrong. It's not a good judgment call for them to express to you how they feel. Because right next to it is the four pentacles. Look at this person. It's just holding these pentacles very tightly. One on the head, one on the chest, two under his feet. So it doesn't matter he or she. It's not gender specific. But... The Four of Pentacles is like, I'm to myself. I don't want to let go. I don't want to open up. I'm, I'm staying right here, you know, maybe because I'm scared, maybe because I think that this is the best thing to do right now, especially right next to judgment and my first, right? So I feel like the person in your mind's next action towards you, it's kind of like non-action, non-active action, non in front of you at least not in front of you i feel like they're just going to like suss you out keeping tabs on you with the page of swords here in first perhaps with the five of cups here they're just thinking a lot of negative things right now thinking about what could have happened what could happen if they were to express to you something tell you something or reach out to you or make a decision in regards to you, in regards to this connection, because they're still mulling over something that has happened in the past. It may or may not have anything to do with you, but that's something that they still haven't recovered from, from what had happened. That may have led to them just not saying anything or doing anything or making any judgment call towards you. That's why the Page of Swords is in my verse right here. But I do sense them wanting to change this this way, this kind of thinking, changing the dynamic of this connection. Um, the Wheel of Fortune also sometimes can indicate divine timing. Um, maybe their next action towards you will take time, okay? When it's the right time, I feel like they will tell you something here. Two of Swords here is in reverse. So they have actively decided <laughs> the only thing that's very active that i'm seeing here right now is that they've actively decided that they're just gonna keep things to themselves okay and not say anything yet and look at the page of cups here 
page is a messenger so they do really want to say something to you send you a message or tell you something good tell you something nice but the judgment in reverse them just like thinking maybe it's not such a good idea right but even if they do yeah even if they do eventually take actions towards you and they say something to you it may seem like it's like very casual it may sound very casual like as if nothing happened but deep down right next to it with the five of cups here there's something that is it's uns very unsettling that i'm picking up on there's still some disappointments or sadness or um still haven't gotten over what had happened in the past and again what had happened in the past may or may not have anything to do with you some of you yes maybe you are separated from this person something has happened if it has nothing to do with you it could be just their own past trauma okay and we've got the chariot here in reverse see the chariot is a form of transportation so Usually, if it's in the upright position, I would say that, you know, they're getting ready to move towards you. They're getting ready to do something about this. Um, but when it's in reverse, they're delaying it. They're definitely delaying it. And with the four pentacles above the chariot, it just makes me, makes me feel like they're just keeping to themselves as of right now. But I do see them potentially wanting to talk to you and come clean with you with the seven of swords in reverse. But... It's just not the right time because the Wheel of Fortune, they could also be waiting for the right time to talk to you, reach out to you. And Page of Pentacles is right here. There are two pages here. So the person in your mind could be a Virgo, Capcom, Taurus again, or a Pisces, Scorpio like you are. Four Wands in my first can indicate for some of you, you know, it, you could be separated from this person. If you're not separated from this person, Four Wands in my first can indicate maybe this person is just not stable yet. They, they don't feel like it's the right time. They don't think they can commit as, as of right now. Commit to talking to you. Commit to offering you something. Uh, or even to apologize to you if they have done something wrong. Um, I don't actually see them. I, keep, I see them keeping to themselves. Right now at this moment, water signs. Uh, the person in your mind's next action towards you will be just them. Again, just keeping taps on you you are on their mind yeah they do think about you a lot they do feel a certain way about you i do sense them really wanting to talk to you and to tell you something express to you something but they, they keep telling themselves no maybe it's not a good idea not right now if there's someone you're expecting a commitment from they they're thinking about offering you commitment but right now they may be a bit scared they may not think it's a good time the right time it may not be the right again a decision or judgment call as of right now okay hmm and the king of cups in reverse can indicate someone who is emotionally unavailable or someone who is emotionally unstable or still hasn't figured out yet how they feel about the entire situation right so the person in your mind is not hasn't come to a conclusion as to how they feel about everything as of right now okay whether if you're separated, should I give this connection a chance? Should I ask for a second chance? Or if there's someone you're waiting to offer you a job, they still haven't come to terms with how they feel yet um, in regards to working with you or, or giving you a raise or giving you a promotion. Again, the person on your mind could be anybody, okay? Mm -hmm. But it's just like, I, um, because the King of Cups here in my verse is like, okay, something is still still doesn't quite feel right yet okay i still need to see more seven of swords and lovers i need to see this person's true colors could mean that as well i don't want to make the wrong judgment call it may or may not have anything to do with you because the judgment in reverse can indicate them feeling as well like i just don't want to make the wrong judgment call so i, will, I need to suss water signs out first with the page of swords here maybe because they've been you know disappointed before in the past now, this, if this is someone who's like just getting to know you or wanting to offer you something or work together or, you know, come together as a team. But if this is someone you separated from, water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, I do see them actually thinking, could be thinking about asking for a second chance or wanting a second chance. But I sense them feeling like... Like, maybe it's not a good idea, right? So the next action is towards you. Even if they were to talk to you, I see it sounding very casual. Like, hey, how are you? Or, 
you know, you, if they do, yeah, if they do talk to you, if they don't talk to you, that's because the Four of Pentacles, they're still keeping to themselves. They're still mulling over the past here, Five of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Cups here. It's them actually truly want to talk to you, but it doesn't sound like, it doesn't feel like they want to have this deep talk yet. Like, it's like, not, I'm not ready for a deep conversation yet. And then the uh, strength here is in one verse. So the person in your mind may feel like they, they, either their lack of courage right now or that they, they're they just not ready, okay? Not ready to face it or not ready to face you, not ready to make a decision, not ready emotionally as of right now, okay? But I do see them waiting uh, for possible in the future, future, but to, you know, start talking or discussing about something here. But two pages, I feel like it's like, let's let's not get too deep into this as of right now. Let's talk about how, like, baby steps, that's what I'm seeing here. Like, just start little by little, that's what I'm seeing. All right, what are signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio? This is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to my other channel. It's called Chelsea Vlogs, my travel channel. And for those of you who are Virgos, cross-watcher, Virgo cross watchers, I do have a Virgo only channel, it's my third channel, link is in the description box below. And uh, for those of you who like to be notified every time when I post your videos, and every time when I go live, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. Whenever I go live, I'll do 12 individual sign readings, followed by answering super chat questions, that means I will do your personal reading during that uh, live stream. Yeah, again, and don't forget to hit on the bell notification button so you won't miss it. Take care. Hope to see you back here again sooner than later. Bye.